Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are heading to Hobby Lobby to see what they have out for Christmas 2023. And then we are going to be coming back here for a haul portion of today's video. I was able to find some really good things at Hobby Lobby and when I was there I filmed so that way you guys can see everything that they have out this year as well. I'm just showing my favorite things that they have this season. So tons of neutral pieces. I'm also incorporating a lot of traditional Christmas colors but more on the natural side of those things. So I'm going to be doing a lot of like dried oranges and cream cranberry garlands and things like that this season. So those are the things that I was kind of keeping an eye out for just to kind of complement those um, specific ideas that I have for Christmas this season. So let's head to Hobby Lobby now and then like I said, stay tuned to the end of today's video. That way you can see what I picked up this year. One of my favorite sections to look at when I go shopping at Hobby Lobby each season is the floral section. They typically have a good selection of things to choose from and these are a few of my favorite branches. You will see a couple of these in the haul portion of today's video. So stay tuned for that. But I'm a sucker for the greeneries and pines and cedars and everything like that during this time of year. I think it just looks so natural and beautiful and they have really good price points on their stems. I will say everything that I'm showing today that is Christmas is 50% off. So 50% off of the tag that I'm showing you guys. So these are really, really good prices and you just can't beat it. But Hobby Lobby does have some floral stems like I mentioned, but they also have some pre-made arrangements as well. These were around $5, which I think is a great price. If you don't like the pot that they come in, you can also like paint them or stick them in a basket, anything like that, just to kind of switch up the look a little bit. But they had a lot of great things to choose from. And then I wanted to show you guys the candle section to give you some ideas on different colors of candles that you can find that you can style with your Christmas decor. So they had a lot of pretty ones and these go 40% off so you can get them very inexpensive and I just love all the colors that they have to choose from. They also have a variety of styles as well. So they have tapered ones, they have candles that are more tall and narrow that just are the same size all the way down and then they have some of the twisted kind of textured looking ones as well and then my hobby lobby did have a small section of tabletop decor out for tablescapes and this one was really pretty i love the simple little christmas tree you can use this in the winter time not only at christmas time and they house some really pretty chargers too that were great prices <music> love a good candle and Hobby Lobby always has great selections of candles. They also have flameless ones as well which are really nice but this green was my favorite. The green wreath scent was so good. I love a warm and cozy like balsam kind of scent and that one was really good. They also had some hand soaps as well and the spiced orange was my favorite but they all were a great selection. If you're looking for new stockings this year, Hobby Lobby had a really good selection of those and they had tree skirts that matched. So if you wanted to do that, you definitely could or you could do a mix and match look. That's kind of what I'm planning to do this year and they had a good selection of those as well in really amazing prices.
Not only did they have really pretty candles, they also had battery operated candles. I love those clips. I think those are so pretty. And they had really pretty holders to go inside of them or for the inside of holders. And they have some really nice mercury glass ones. I know that's kind of a popular look this year. They had some really pretty gold ones that had almost like an antler look on the bottom, which I thought were beautiful. And then they had these really pretty tall taper candles as well. And I love these. The gold is really beautiful. And I love the black. You guys know that black candles sticks are a staple in my home. I love these and these were really good prices also. into the nativity scene section they had really pretty selection of those as well and things for kids too i thought that these puzzles were super cute they had ornaments to choose from just a lot of different things but this is just a really sweet section and something that i love to look at every single year back from the store. I hope you guys enjoyed shopping with me. I think they had a lot of really good pieces out this year and I was able to pick up some really great finds. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I picked up. I'm a sucker for really good faux Christmas trees and I thought that these were beautiful. So I love this look. It's very realistic looking and the pot that this came in is really pretty too. So it's kind of like a galvanized look, but this is not a galvanized finish, if that makes sense. Um, but these were originally $15.99. So these came in three different sizes. Almost all of the Christmas trees that I saw at Hobby Lobby, like the little like tabletop ones and whatnot, came in three sizes. So like a small, medium, large. So this is the small version of this particular tree and it was $15.99 but half off because all of the Christmas decor at Hobby Lobby was 50% off already. So this was only $8 and I think that is an amazing deal. This is such a pretty tree. It definitely has like that real kind of touch to it and I just think that this is stunning. So I was playing around with this in my home. It looks good literally everywhere. So this is definitely a staple piece that you can move around from year to year and give it a totally new look. But I did pick up the small one in this. Like I said, this is so pretty. I love the color. It's like kind of a vibrant green, but it definitely looks natural. And then I also picked up the medium one. They did not have the large in store, unfortunately, at my Hobby Lobby, um, but I did pick up the medium one as well. And this one was originally $27.99, but then again, half off. So I'm making it like $14. And this is a pretty good size tree. So I love this. You could easily decorate with these um, like styled together, or you can do them separately if you choose to do so. But I think that they just look so, so pretty anywhere in a home. If you don't have your Christmas tree next to a fireplace like I do, ours is obviously tucked away here in this corner. 
but these would be so pretty styled like on a mantle if you have a big chunky mantle also on the hearth of a fireplace i've been playing with these on my dining room table as a centerpiece little side tables buffets console tables i mean truly the list goes on and on these are such a great staple and again something that you can use for many years to come so my hobby lobby did not have a ton of their greenery out yet for christmas they had a lot of like the colorful like uh, pit picks and whatnot and like the big like flowers like poinsettias and things like that but I was looking for more greenery and I did find this one this is a staple every single year and every year I pick up a couple more picks each year because I love them so much so these are I believe this is like a cedar or maybe like a juniper I can't remember the exact name but um, I love this it does have like the little berries on there and this is just really really pretty so these are pretty tall I've already been playing around with them I did pick up three this go around. I'm planning to go back to Hobby Lobby to pick up a couple other things, but these are originally $5.99 and then again 50% off. So $3 a stem and you can get like a bunch on here. So this would be great for like tablescapes. I love them in vases. Um, you can also like lay these flat if you wanted to. These are just so pretty and for $3 you truly cannot beat it. So I love these. These are one of my favorite stems that Hobby Lobby carries each season. Next up I did get a new stocking. So yes just one stocking. I know that's kind of weird, but I do have some like ivory knit stockings, also some cranberry color stockings from years past. And this year I'm wanting to do the mix and match stocking with those that I have from previous years, but then I wanted to add in two new ones that have like texture and pattern to them. So I did pick up this one from Hobby Lobby. It is kind of like that. I believe it's called boucle boucle something like that um if I am incorrect let me know down in the comments but anyways I believe that's what it's called like a boucle um texture and finish so anyway it looks like this kind of like that teddy bear finish actually and um I think that these are super pretty so I really like the color I am incorporating like I had mentioned at the beginning lots of natural elements this year and um wanting to incorporate some more natural colors along with like the oranges and cranberries and things like that. So anyway, I think this is perfect. This was originally $11.99 and then half off. So $6 for the stocking. It's a really good quality and I think it'll look so pretty. As you guys can see here, I haven't done anything to my mantle yet, but I'm planning on hanging all of my stockings up in one area this year. And um, I think it'll look really pretty when they're all like mixed in together. So six bucks for this one. Hobby Lobby did have a lot of great ones to choose from. I'm still on the hunt for one more stocking. And and um, they did have a couple there that I liked that I'm just kind of keeping in the back of my mind just in case I don't find anything else. But I knew that this one had to come home with me. All right, next I have some ribbon. So this did not come from the Christmas section. This came from the like craft section and um, or fabric section, not craft section. Anyways, these are the colors that I'm going for this year. So I have kind of like a cranberry color. There's also like this coppery color and then this green color. It's kind of hard for this to pick up, but this is like a green. Um, this is a velvet ribbon. The red is the main one that I'm using this year, but I actually need to pick up more because this is just so, so pretty and you can use it to so many ways. I'm going to show you one of the ways that I'm using this, but anyways, look at the ribbon in the fabric section. Okay, so this is what I'm planning to do with the red ribbon. So I have multiple of these wreaths that I'm using this year. This wreath also came from Hobby Lobby, just not this trip. It came like two years ago, but they have these every single year. They're like four or five dollars, um, but I just love how this is like loosely placed on there. You guys will see this particular look in my dining room. But anyways, I love this. This ribbon is just so stunning. And I think the color is perfect. I feel like it's showing up maybe a little bit brighter, but it's definitely like a true rich like cranberry color. And I love it. So just one of the ways that you can use that ribbon. And I think it just looks so pretty. Okay, last but not least, I did go to the candle section of Hobby Lobby. Those were all 40% off the week that I went as well. And I just picked up these tiny little taper candles. So these are just in an ivory color. Um, I picked up these because I do have a lot of the little candle holders with like the ring. I said this in my thrifted decor haul, but it reminds me of a Christmas carol when he has the candle and he's just like holding it through. But anyway, I wanted a taper candle for that. And um, these were originally like 79 cents and 40% off. So very inexpensive but I love these they do come in multiple colors as well so love a good candle at Christmas time all right you guys that is everything for today's video let me know down in the comments what was your favorite thing that you saw in store at Hobby Lobby when we went shopping and what was your favorite item in today's haul I love those trees I get all the stockings up use the ribbons I am just super pumped this year it's kind of like 
just a very fun and nostalgic year for us in our home. Um, I am bringing back a lot of, like I said, nostalgic things. So with the dried orange garlands, I'm going to be doing cranberry garlands. This year we are also doing a family tree, which will be this tree here in our living room. You guys know typically I don't put Christmas ornaments on my tree. I know that's weird. Um, I just really like a bare tree with the lights. I think it's beautiful and it kind of gets balanced out with a full um, like mantle and whatnot. But this year we are having a family tree. It's not going to be any glitz and glam and designer look of a tree at all. It's truly a old time good traditional family tree. We're going to have a hodgepodge of ornaments on here with things that just represent us and our family. So I do need to go um pick up some more ornaments. The boys have a lot of their own ornaments and then of course we have like our wedding ornament and just like little family ones here and there but I need to get a lot more to fill it up so that's what we're planning on doing this year for the tree so stay tuned for that. It's going to be really fun. But thank you guys again so much for being here. Don't forget to hit that bell notification that way you're notified every time I post. I do have tons more Christmas content coming your way and if you are new to my channel I hope you consider subscribing. I would love to have you. But thank you guys again so much for being here and I will see you all in my next one. Bye guys.